Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're gonna do a review of a 2011 Jayco Greyhawk 31FS. Let's go take a look. Alright, before we get started, I just want to ask everyone, if you are not working with a salesperson at my dealership already, please make sure you ask for me. I am a salesperson in addition to a YouTuber, so I would like to sell a unit every once in a while off of one of these videos. So again, if you're not working with a salesperson here at my dealership, please ask for me. My information will be all throughout the video. All right, let's get started. So this is a 2011 Jayco Greyhawk, was just traded in today, 20,000 miles. We're gonna go over the tires, cargo carrying capacity. We're gonna do a loop of the outside and we'll jump on the inside. This one has the Michelin tires and they are 225-75 R16. Cargo carrying capacity of this coach is 1,704 pounds, not bad. This rig has a really nice fiberglass front cap. Now the nice thing about the fiberglass front cap is that it's not a vacuum binded wall there. There's only one seam at the roof and then one seam underneath at the bottom here. It is very less likely to leak with this full fiberglass cap. Has nice fiberglass transition here down the side to take you from the cab to the box. This one does have outside speakers so I'm sure there's a radio inside that plays to the outside. This here is to hook a grill to, and I believe I saw that grill in one of the compartments. First compartment, rotocast compartments. They do need to be wiped out. We just traded this in, so I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. Second one, propane tank. This is gonna hold your door open. It does have a power awning, outside light there. This is access to the back of the RV refrigerator, so you can service it. You got your propane furnace right here. A little bit of storage below there, and there's the grill. That's on a bracket, and that bracket is gonna mount to that little rail on the wall over there. And then this one is prepped to be able to plug in a TV outside, and you have audio-visual cables. There's your other speaker. Those are the bunk bed windows. We got a little bit more storage right here. Rotocast compartments, easy to clean. You can actually put a hose in there if you needed to. A little bit more storage right there. And these are all lit with lighting. Okay. Now this guy put these little vortice, vortice generators, I guess they're called, or vortex generators. They're gonna help when big vehicles pass you and they're also gonna help with fuel mileage. I'm not sure how that works, but that's what we were told. <laughs> this one does have a 5,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector. Nice metal bumper there. You don't have to worry about taking a hit in the back. You do have a ladder to be able to access the roof. This one does have a backup camera as well as side view cameras. And you got a nice bedroom window there. All right, coming around to the other side, got more of those vortice generators up the side. Pretty nice. And this is a huge storage compartment. That goes up and in quite a bit. You get some diverter valves there for your water. A couple low point drains for your plumbing. Over there is the low point drain for the fresh tank. I'll show you when we get up there. You're gonna hook up your sewer tube right there. The gray valve is right here. And the black valve is right there on the side. I don't know whether you can see it or not right there. You can store your sewer tube right in there. And then you got your fuel fill right there. You do have a sewer flush with this. That's nice on an 11. And then you have your city water connection. Right over there is the low point drain for your fresh water tank. 
this one does have an outside shower with hot and cold water you got your water heater right there that's where your shore power cord is you got a little bit more storage right here and right next to that is your house batteries this one is the Onan 4k quiet gas generator which is more than enough to run everything in this coach this is a 30 amp service with one AC so that's more than enough to run that and the last compartment a little bit more storage this one does have the integrated side view cameras right there on the mirror you got power heated mirrors up top with blind spot mirrors on the bottom really nice fiberglass running boards to be able to get into this rig this is a double slide. You got a living room slide right here and a bunk and wardrobe slide on the other side. All right, folks, that's the outside. Well, let's go take a look at the inside of this little beautiful coach. All right, slide outs are in. I want you to be able to see how you can get to everything in this coach with the slide out in. So plenty of space to get all the way up to the cab. No problem. This thing is in great shape for a 2011 you got your kitchen right here refrigerator no problem accessing that wide open you got your bunk beds on this side bathroom on this side no problem getting into the bathroom as i whack my knee on the door but plenty of space to be able to get in and out of here and no problem getting back into the master bedroom all right let's open it up slide out works awesome no issues generators running great and we're gonna put out the bunk slide they both fly out no problem all right so we're gonna start at the cab and we're gonna work our way back all right this has the Ford Triton V10 they pair that up to the torque flight transmission. This guy can tow 5,000 pounds. You have a nice infotainment center in, in the middle, and that's gonna take care of your radio as well as your side view and backup cameras. Does have tow haul mode. And you do have power heated mirrors as well as power windows and locks and cruise control. And these have power seats as well. Very, very nice coach. The seats are in immaculate condition. Again, 10 year old coach, all of the velour on the upper bunks in amazing shape, no water leaks. And let me turn that light on up here so we can see. There we go, now slid up. Everything is in amazing condition, except for that shade. <laughs> Those strung shades are kind of, uh, it is missing the TV, but that's an easy ad. TVs are pretty inexpensive nowadays. And this piece does fold over. Actually, let me show you how you do that. There we go. That makes it so you can walk in and out of the cab with no problems. Dining table goes down to a sleeper. That's an amazing condition. We have all the books. Patio dinette. I love a patio dinette and huge window on the patio side. All of the window treatments are in great shape got a ton of storage space over top of the dinette cabinetry is in very good condition hidden hinges with really nice fixtures you got mirrored cabinet doors over here this even has all the original pillows that came with it that's a jackknife sofa there's another one of those pillows there's seat belts in the dining table and in the sofa then over here you have your oven and a little bit of countertop space. Huge pot and pan drawer right here below the oven. And you have a three burner cooktop right there. A little microwave oven above that. And that is vented outside with the light. That's really nice. A little bit more cabinet space right there. And you do have four pretty good sized drawers right here.
sponge holder right there and compartment to be able to get to the water heater to winterize it right there. Got a waste basket right there. And right next to that, a little bit more storage. Dual basin sink with a cutting board, very nice. You got the pull out sprayer faucet. And above that, more cabinetry space with a shelf, very nice. And a light over top of that. Then over by the door, you have your gas electric refrigerator. It's an eight cubic foot. And you even have a little bit more storage above that. Very nice. Furnace is below uh, the refrigerator right there. Coming back into the bunk area, you do have a pocket door to separate it off from the living space. They have DVD players with wireless headsets in both of the bunks with lights and windows and shades, privacy curtains. Across from the bunk bed, you have a little bit of, I guess that's pantry space. A lot of shelves there. That would be a great pantry. Hidden hinges again, really nice fixtures. And then across from the bunks, you have a plastic pedal flush toilet, a sink with a ton of countertop space. Nice medicine cabinets here. Ton of space. You got a hand towel holder, a regular towel holder. I'm sure there's a toilet paper holder right there. A little bit of space under there, shelves there. Fan. And a little shower. Definitely is gonna be a little tight, but it's got the nice glass surround, which is a very nice feature. Good size bathroom. And back into the master bedroom. You got a RV queen bed with nightstands on either side. There is a ton of storage over top of this bed with shelves, three of those. Very nice, a window at the head of the bed and an egress window on the back. Then you have five really nice, six really nice drawers here. I'm sure there's some storage behind that television as well. These are good drawers and then they get deeper and deeper as you go down. Pretty big. And one really big one over here. Wow, that's big. You got a hanging wardrobe closet right here. This thing is giant with the hanging bar. Got a ton of space to be able to put stuff underneath though. And some storage behind the TV. Abby and I call that the liquor cabinet. Let's see if we got any storage under the bed. Yes, that's actually access to that outside storage. Very cool. All of your 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses are right there on the base of the bed. All right, everybody, that is the 2011 Jayco Greyhawk 31 FS. This unit's still available, just traded today, 20,000 miles. This will not last long, make a perfect starter coach. If you would like to know more, if you have any questions, please text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more, and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, folks, if you are not already working with a salesperson here at my dealership, please ask for me. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night.